Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Supreme Court set to hand Trump huge win over guffed bureaucracy in landmark case. President Trump and the conservative movement have long complained about runaway federal bureaucracy. While the government performs vital functions, runaway bureaucracy has a way of undoing the good and leaving people with a bad taste in their mouths to say nothing of the unnecessary expense businesses and individuals must pay. Trump promised to rein an out-of-control government, and he has done an absolutely amazing job so far. Must of this is not public, it is behind the scenes, but make no mistake Trump and his people have been remarkably successful deconstructing the bureaucratic state. But there are a few laws on the books that are hampering Trump's efforts. And based on a report from today's oral arguments, that is all about to change. From the Federalist Papers Conservative U.S. Supreme Court justices on Wednesday expressed skepticism toward the wide latitude courts give federal agencies to interpret their own regulations in a case that could bolster the Trump administration's push toward curbing agency power. During an hour of arguments, the court's 5 to 4 conservative majority seemed more willing to limit such judicial deference, as suggested by U.S. Solicitor General Noel Francisco the Trump administration's top Supreme Court lawyer, rather than eliminate it entirely. Conservative Justice Brett Kavanaugh told Francisco that under the legal doctrine known as our deference, judges must sometimes side with an agency even when they feel it has made the wrong call on a regulation. Doesn't that trouble you? Kavanaugh asked. Liberal justices said judicial deference is important because agencies often have technical expertise that judges do not possess. Pairing back the authority of federal agencies, which can control regulation in many critical areas including energy, climate change and the workplace, has been a key goal of many business and conservative groups, which complain about what they call the administrative state. These critics have said judicial deference has allowed agencies to accumulate power by enabling them to issue vague or burdensome regulations and then enforce them according to the policy preferences of unelected administrators. President Donald Trump's administration has pursued an aggressive policy of scaling back government regulations including on environmental protections, financial services and other industries. Our deference refers to a 1997 Supreme Court ruling in the case Our v. Robbins, which extended a 1945 precedent, Bowles v. Seminole Rock and Sand Company, that had accepted an agency's take unless it was plainly wrong or inconsistent with the regulation. In recent years, the court's conservative justices have questioned the validity of this form of deference. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.